school won't let you know what they have. You come to the house, but you won't never, I mean, you act like you don't have anything. You know what, you do have something. Come on, I don't care where you at, you have brought something. Some kind of thoughts you do have. And you should make it known, the thought that you have, because you need to know whether your thought is right. Good. That's very good. Very good. I mean, that's the way I would look at it. I mean, if I, I mean some of us <laughs> haven't lent their, their, their mind to the house. Or they haven't had a, little, a spiritual lobotomy yet. Or <laughs> allow somebody to go ahead and make the adjustments in the way we think. You got to find somebody in the house that's worthy to, to look at your life and, 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 and then to discern what's in your life or not. Don't get somebody that, that's going to look at you and love everything about you, by the way. <laughs> Something I was thinking about when we were talking. Some folks, how many know there's a difference between a cook and a chef? Yes. Both of them in the kitchen. Yeah. Somebody may know what they're doing and somebody may not. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I just heard that. We got folks in the church. They want to be a chef. Now everybody got an apron on me there, chef. They told me that. <laughs> I went over to that church and they told me I was a chef. Got over to that church and I found out I'm a cook. <laughs> Man, I was anointed, I was ordained, I was singing on the praise team, I was doing all this, and you mean I'm just a cook? <laughs> yep. You're a cook. But we can use everything that you learn yes, as a sir. cook. Yes, sir. If you be willing to say, you know what, I don't know everything. So I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to lend myself to that chef, the master chef, which happened to be me. I know you want to be the Holy Spirit, but I'm the master chef. Because this is actually my kitchen. Okay? I know where the utensils go. So you, all you got to do is get close enough and get an intimate relationship. I can tell you where things are in the kitchen without you having to go through looking for stuff. Uh, and then using a the knife to stir stuff. <laughs> and all you need is a big spoon. I can tell you it's over there. <laughs> That's good because I, I, after a while they'll learn how to, I mean, they can be taught how to be able to handle the tools to be able to make that. So you might not be, you may not be the, the chief chef today. Come on. But you can become. But if you never learn how to be a cook, you'll never be chef. So if you never get in the kitchen, <laughs> you're never be a chef. Or never get close enough to the show. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't want to be tutored. I don't want nobody having to tell me, ask questions. If, let me tell you something. Anybody that has a desire for others to learn anything, I don't care if positive or negative, it's a joy that comes when you have those that are connected to you ask questions. Now, I hate to say that because all of a sudden I'm going to have people asking me questions. But I'm going to know if it's from the heart or not. But it's a joy when you can call somebody that is further along from you and can ask them questions. I do all the time. I have no problem with that. I got three of them that I know. And I call them, I ask them questions. And you know what I'm saying? And that's because I want to make sure the stew that I'm putting together, the recipe that I'm putting together, is going to have its own distinct taste to it. You get what I'm saying? This is spiritual. Now I don't get hungry on it. I'm talking spiritual. That's good because what you're going to be sure to, I mean, when you say that, what, you, what, they, what they will understand is that they're learning how to be able to make sure it tastes the way it's supposed to taste it out. And the chef will be able to say, oh, that's it? Yeah. It's this recipe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you taste it and say, oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Step away from the table. Step away from the table. I got this. And that's what we're going to see when it says one went out. Because that's the concept we got in the church. Independence. I don't know where, well, I ain't gonna say I don't know where it came from because it came from the garden. And some of us still underneath that uh, administration, but it's supposed to be a new administration. Mm -hmm. When you get into relationship, I think that was the thing you were sharing on last night, you were talking to a couple of people, and you said that God is bringing us into relationship. That is. I mean, every church in America, the next 20 years is gonna be about relationships. And you used to do things privately, I know. I know you used to, you know, get stealths on us, get ops on us. <laughs> <laughs> we can't find you, you get lost. I'm telling you, God's gonna quarantine certain restaurants, churches, kitchens, where certain people can't get away no more. He's gonna connect the leaders. The leaders gonna be able to talk in the city and say, I seen Bobo at my house. See Bobo, he was just at my church. What happened to Bobo? Bobo got mad because he didn't like what you was cooking over to kitchen. <laughs> so he wanted to come over my kitchen. 
<laughs> he wanted soul food. He got tired of that over there. But see, that's how those are the checks and balances that need to come in the house to eliminate that spirit of that spirit.